And every single call we got on, it was, you're on mute, you're on mute, you're on mute. And I couldn't help but thinking, you know, actually, we've been on mute for a really long time. Many of us have been on mute, even long before the pandemic. We've been silencing our voices. We haven't been speaking up when we know something needs to be said. I mean, our world is an absolute mess. All right, so I want to uh, talk about Unmuted then. So mm-hmm. what inspired you to write that book? The book started as a very different book, actually. It was originally going to be an update of my first book, Powerful People Skills, that I wrote in 2009. And I was speaking with the publisher and we thought, I think it's time for an update, <laughs> you know, Powerful People Skills for the Digital Age. And that was what I was beginning to write. Then the pandemic hit. And when that happened, we all moved online into all of our calls and our, you know, virtual boxes. And every single call we got on, it was, you're on mute, you're on mute, you're on mute. And I couldn't help but thinking, you know, actually, we've been on mute for a really long time. Many of us have been on mute, even long before the pandemic. We've been silencing our voices. We haven't been speaking up when we know something needs to be said. I mean, our world is an absolute mess. Um, Many of us have lost complete trust in our leaders. We wonder where are we headed? Why are we still listening to these same voices? And I thought, you know, we need more voices in the world. We need to start hearing from the people who have been on mute in their families, in their communities, in their companies. And we need to start hearing all of the voices because it's about a a situation that I think has been happening for way too long. And it's looking at, okay, how do we start hearing these voices that have been silenced either by our institutions, by our leadership, or because they've chosen to silence themselves and they aren't speaking up. Uh, So how do we, how do we start hearing that and getting new ideas, new innovations? We, our, our world is changing so fast and we need to keep up and we need new ideas. So that was the, the driving force behind Unmuted. Hey everyone, it's Mick Spears from The Leadership Project, where we empower leaders with all of the knowledge and skills that they need to create amazing teams and amazing workspaces. If you're liking today's video, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and the notification bell. Back to the show. Mm -hmm. What what are your views about uh, a lack of psychological safety leading to this muting? Yeah, that's probably the biggest issue that leads to people staying silent when they don't feel safe in their environment in a psychological way that they anything they say they're judged any idea they bring to the table is rejected. Nothing is ever a conversation. They're made to feel uh, not good enough on a daily basis Um, that lacking psychological safety is a big factor in people pressing mute and saying, you know what, I give up. (laughs) I I give up. I can't say anything right or do anything right. And this is by far, I think, the saddest and biggest loss of human potential that we're seeing in business is when people do choose to press that mute button because their ideas are not being heard. And this is where I think you're you're right to say people are starting to leave. They used to sit in those dead end jobs for decades. And now people are saying enough, I'm not going to put up with this. And they're leaving to find a, a company and an environment that suits them better where they feel that they belong. Um, but psychological safety is an interesting one though, because I wonder, and I mean, I, I do encourage it, but I also am very aware that this is a very Western concept. And I am not convinced, and I'm really excited to start working with the concepts in the book with my clients, because I'm not convinced that psychological safety will be implemented in the same way here in Asia. You know, we can have a very safe environment. We can tell people, speak up, tell me what you're thinking. I want to hear everything. I want you to challenge my ideas but it is not part of the culture to do so. Mm. And I'm generalizing here with Asia, right? I mean, we have very, very different, if we go from Japan to Singapore, massive differences there and different degrees, right? I mean, you know, as well as I do, the differences that are here. Um, But I'm not convinced that this Western ideal of make everyone feel safe and everyone's gonna unmute. I'm not convinced that that's actually going to be that easy. Hey everyone, it's Mick Spears from The Leadership Project, where we empower leaders with the knowledge and skills that they need to create amazing teams and amazing workspaces. If you're enjoying our content, please do remember to hit like, subscribe, and that little notification bell so that you can be notified of all of our future videos. 
In the meantime, please do take care, look out for each other and join us on this journey as we learn together and lead together.